Hello everybody, Dr. Brian Dizvonik here, and if you are suffering with irritable bowel syndrome, also known as IBS, and you're ready to take charge of your health and start feeling better, here's what you need to do. The first thing to do is to try to determine the triggers to your IBS, and this can be done with simple laboratory tests. I have provided links down below to the specific tests that I typically order, and just note that you may have to have your physician order these tests for you. The first test is food sensitivity test. The second test is a test to determine if you have leaky gut. And the third test is a test to determine if you have dysbiosis or unfavorable gut bacteria. The purpose of the food sensitivity test is to determine which foods you need to avoid in order for your inflammation to go down and your gut to start to heal. So with the information from the food sensitivity results, you can formulate an elimination diet. The purpose of the leaky gut test is to show if large molecules are making their way into the bloodstream. So whenever you have a chronic inflammatory reaction going on in the gut, what could happen is the cells that line the gut, uh, the tight junctions that hold them together could separate, allowing larger molecules to get into the bloodstream and cause an even worse inflammatory reaction. So determining if leaky gut is present will show you the extent of damage that you have from your IBS condition. The purpose of the dysbiosis test is to determine if any microorganisms are present that may be contributing to your IBS symptoms. And this test is a comprehensive stool analysis. The test shows you which microorganisms are present, their quantity, and of those microorganisms, which ones are typically problematic microorganisms. The test also shows you if you have any inflammatory markers or if you are lacking digestive enzymes which could contribute to your IBS as well. Once you have the results of your lab test, you could begin to formulate a treatment plan. Here's an example of a typical treatment plan that I would make. The first thing to do is to start an elimination diet. All of the foods that you reacted to on your food sensitivity list should be avoided for two months. If the results of your leaky gut test are negative, then you could begin to take probiotics one to two times a day. I have listed down below in the description the most common probiotics that I prescribe. If the results of your leaky gut tests are positive, then you wanna hold off on taking any probiotics for at least two weeks to allow your gut time to heal. You will also need to take digestive enzymes for the first month on this protocol. When choosing a digestive enzyme, you wanna make sure that it doesn't contain any of the ingredients that are found on your food sensitivity list. Uh, two of the most common ingredients in digestive enzymes that are usually found on people's um, food sensitivity tests are bromelain and ginger. So if you came up positive on your test to pineapple, then you need to avoid bromelain. And if you came up positive on ginger, then you need to avoid ginger. I have provided a link down below to a digestive enzyme that doesn't contain either of these. If the comprehensive stool analysis showed that you have unfavorable microorganisms in your gut or dysbiosis, then you will need to take an antimicrobial. And you will take this for the first month. The test shows you which um, antimicrobials that are most effective against the microorganisms that they found in your samples. But just in general, the, the most broad spectrum natural antimicrobial is grapefruit seed extract. And I've provided a link down below for that one as well. In some cases, you may need to have a prescription antibiotic or antifungal, and you will have to get that through your physician. Lastly, you need something to soothe the lining of your gut as it heals. And fortunately, there are many different botanicals and supplements that do just this. I have listed down below my preference, and this should be taken for the first month of the protocol. Here is what to expect on this plan. The first two weeks is the most challenging because during that time, your microbiome, all the bacteria and yeast in your gut, are changing in response to the changes that you have made. 
So during the first two weeks, symptoms of IBS typically may be worse. Do not be discouraged. After the first two weeks, people generally start to feel great. So week three and week four, people start to feel really, really good. You will continue the food elimination portion of this plan for two months. After the two months, if you do not have a greater than 40% improvement in your symptoms, then you should seek a doctor who is familiar with the testing that I mentioned earlier so that you could try to determine other possible causes of your IBS. If you do experience a greater than 40% improvement in your symptoms after two months on the food elimination portion, then you can either stick with that or begin to add foods back in. And here's how you add foods back in. You will add foods back in one at a time for three days total. So let's say you reacted to wheat. Start eating wheat again, day one, day two, day three, and try to eat a lot of it so that you can stimulate a response. And if by day three you still feel okay, then likely that food isn't the main cause of your problems and you could probably add that one back in maybe in moderation maybe two to three times a week add it back in and you should be okay then you're going to add in another food test another food that you reacted to let's say you reacted to eggs add those back in day one day two day three and if you start feeling symptoms then you know that food is a problem and note it down and make sure that you stay off of that food for good. Have you followed this plan or a plan like it? What were your results? Please comment down below, I'd love to read it. If you like this video, consider giving it a thumbs up. If you haven't already, please hit the subscribe button and click the bell so that you can stay notified of future videos that I put out. Thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next one.